Howdy IAFE, my name is Daryl Rial. I'm the Senior Vice President of Agriculture and Livestock at the Great State Fair of Texas, and it's my pleasure to join Katie Porterfield to talk about how agriculture is going to change 20 years from now. Hi everyone, Katie, Central Washington State Fair here in Yakima. I'm the Agriculture Department Manager, and I'd just like to start off by saying that ag, we all know, is the tradition and root of all fairs, and um, our job as fairs is to, of course, uh, celebrate, showcase, and educate about agriculture through that. We've carried on that responsibility for over 100 years, and that won't change in the next 20. However, maybe how we are going to go about educating and showcasing um, might evolve as it has been over the last 100 years. It's going to change in the next 20. So we should never forget that we have actually two targets we should be focusing our agricultural presentation and education towards, and that's both consumers and our youth. That's right. And our youth is very important. For 130 years, we've focused on developing educational content geared towards our agriculture enthusiasts. And a big part of our responsibility as we move forward is also sharing ideas and developing our youth into the next generation of leaders for agriculture. So what do those contests look like? They've evolved today into speaking contests and agri-science fairs and job interviews amongst livestock judging and everything else. But what is that going to look like 20 years from now? What are the new skills that we're going to need to develop in our next generation of leaders? Yeah, and on top of that, consumer education is one of the most important movements in the ag industry right now. Um, because of our traditions as fairs, we are responsible to bridge that gap between the urban public and agricultural production. Um, and some of the best ways to do that is to still create mm -hmm. hands-on and kinesthetic experiences that consumers can easily connect with. Um, maybe we will start using um, or use technology that consumers already love and use that to our advantage. Maybe we will create virtual realities um, for fair goers as they come in, maybe to experience our, you know, our ag world. And that could be anything with like VR headsets are a popular thing right now. Maybe we design some sort of headset system that people can put on and, and ride horseback through a pasture of cattle, move them to the next one, or sit in a harvester and uh, drive through a field. Maybe it's as simple as their hands go into some sort of reader and um, they pop up on a screen and an apple tree is on the screen and they can sit there and pick apples into a basket from the screen and it's all right in front of them. So there's a lot of options with virtual realities and that's just a big futuristic brainstorm thing, but maybe it's something feasible for fairs in the next 20 years. And maybe these ideas um, change, maybe they change drastically, maybe they change subtly. Um, we never know. Again, think about what agriculture was like 20 years ago and think about what how we showcased them at our fairs 20 years ago. Um, the uh, the trajectory which with which with we change from year to year only increases. So maybe we're teaching our kids uh, about agriculture. Maybe leaders in, in general and always always uh, improving their character. So lots of good ideas. Come share with us your ideas. Uh, come brainstorm with us your ideas because we all want to think about where we go in the next 20 years.